Zoe, is Lawrence gonna be okay? Physically, Lawrence is badly wounded, but he should be able to make a full recovery. But... But? I... I think he's blind. What?! You have to understand, transcending realm barriers without some kind of ritual is something that is unheard of. I'm sure it's happened before, but there are no documents of anyone surviving it. There are bound to be repercussions, and I fear this is one of them. Yeah, can't you use your magics to heal him, Zoe? Afmao, I only know protective spells such as barrier magics. I don't think you've delved into the art, but basic knowledge tells us that living entities can only master one kind of, spe of specialty in magics. Even if I tried to use... Even if I tried to use that to heal him, I could do more damage than good. I'm sorry. Um, do you think Kawaii-chan can? I highly doubt it, but it wouldn't hurt to ask her. I'm actually- I'll do that. By the way, Afmao, Lawrence is asking for you. What? He's in a very emotional state right now. When he woke, he grabbed my hand thinking it was you, but right- But knew right away that it was not the person he was hoping for. I think you should go talk to him. I don't have any choice, do I? <laughs> I will. I don't sense a dark presence in him. It should be safe, but I would be on guard. I don't know enough about Shadow Knights to know what he's capable of. You might want to take Garth with you. Thank you for everything, Zoe. No problem. If Lawrence is going to be here, I'm going to take Levin over to Kawaii Chan's for a bit today. Just as a precaution. Maybe she and I could find out more about this... subject. Alright, Zoe, well... Thank you for everything. Ugh, it's starting to get gloomy out here. Well, what do you think? Uh, shoot, I don't even know. Um, we, I mean, we can't just kick him out of the village. Never. Lawrence saved your life, Lord Afmao. I would never cast him aside if he's in our power, if he's in our power to help. He wants to talk to me. You should talk to him then. I'll be watching just in case he turns. I don't know what happened to him, but it must have been horrible. I didn't even know he was still in the nether when you claimed to have seen him not too long ago. Yeah, then let me go see what he needs from me. Afmao, this subject isn't of importance yet, but sometime during Lawrence's concussion... Or Lawrence, wait, Afmao, this subject isn't of importance yet, but sometimes during Lawrence's consciousness... Do you think you can ask him about Xenix? Could you ask him if he's still alive, and if he's able to be saved? Again, let him talk to you about what he needs, but if there's a moment for you to ask, can you? Uh, I mean... I don't know if to... It's kind of really soon to jump to that, don't you think? But... I mean... Yeah, I will, Garth, for you. Thank you. Now go to him. Alright! Let's let's go see what, what's Lauren has to, what Lawrence has to say. Lawrence? Lawrence, are you- Ugh, God. Lawrence? Afmao, he reaches for your hand. Uh, grab- grab- why wouldn't I grab his hand? He's, like, what? It's you, I know it. What happened to you, Lawrence? Too much. I cannot describe how much pain both mentally, physically, and spiritually becoming one of them is. Are you blind, Lawrence? Yes. I don't really have anything else to say to that. <laughs> what are you uh, what are you laughing at? You know, I'd much rather be here with you and no sight than to be there and be able to see. It was that bad, huh? Can we change the subject? I kind of really want to know a lot about this, but sure, why not? So, where are we? Uh, we're in Phoenix Drop, my village. It smells nice. Afma, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, I mean, go ahead. I became a Shadow Knight against my will. I hung on to my humanity by thinking of you. I made the mistake of letting Sasha go when Kenmer asked her to be his. I can't let that happen with... you. Uh... <laughs> I'm not ready, no! I don't know about this! Uh... <laughs> I, I feel the same way! I don't... <laughs> uh... You're not about to... I have feelings for you. I don't think I'm in any state to be with you by no means. I don't know what's going to happen to me. Will I be able to stay like this for long, or will I turn? I just wanted you to know that. I don't expect you to have feelings for me. That would be selfish. I just want you to know before I lose more than just my sight. Uh, I'm sorry, Lawrence. I just... I mean, I don't even know how I feel about anyone right now. I don't even... I... <laughs> uh, I love you, no. <laughs> um, I, I can't return those feelings right now. Thank you for not freaking out about it, though I can tell you did inside. Your grip changed dramatically. It's okay. Again, I just want you to know, I'm sure you have someone else by now. 
You need to get some rest, Lawrence. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, what do I tell him? Yeah, actually, I, I do appreciate that. Honesty is the best policy. I, You have nothing to apologize for. I appreciate your honesty. He silently dozes off. <laughs> this is a little much to take in, but yeah. Um, okay. So, I don't even want to... I'm just going to leave him be. Uh, I just... What are, you, what are you guys looking at? Just... Uh, this is... I feel so, like, terrible for him. Is he going to... I hope he recovers from this. Garth, what do you think? I heard what Lawrence told you. <laughs> uh, it's, he's, tra he's traumatized. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> I like <laughs> tease what? He, he upset he beat you to the punch? Yeah, I'm going to tease you. Why not? What? what? Don't be ridiculous. That, that's not even a thought that crossed my mind. Calm down. I was just joking. Oh, as was I. Haha, <laughs> I've been working on my jokes. Ahem. Anyway, we need to talk about Zane. Yeah, actually, Garth, he need to know what happened yesterday. He... Zane. Garth? He threatened Alexis? A baby? Uh, yeah, he did. He would stoop that low. He would do this. Zane hides under the protection of the faith of Lady Irene. He's... I'm gonna be sick. What are we gonna do? What did you say? He's leaving in three days? I need to go with him. Uh, is it, uh, isn't there anything we can do? I don't know. We have three days to figure something out. Afma, I really don't want to be forced into marriage. I can't see how that can be something I can live with. If you can think of anything, let me know. I'll keep an eye on Lawrence. I owe him for what he has done. I think I just need to sit down. I won't let Alexis suffer because of me. I won't let this village suffer because of me. What can I do? Yeah, I mean, we could do something to Zane, right? We could just, like... I don't know, like, get him out of the village or not comply with him? Yeah, can't we just make Zane leave? We cannot do anything to Zane. While we are free to act as our own village, trying to get rid of Zane is like declaring war on Ocasus and Scaleswind. Do you know how fast they'd wipe out Phoenix Drop? Let's just leave it at that for now. Again, if you think of anything, Lord Athmael, let me know. Please be safe in the village. I am not comfortable with Zane here. What are you guys looking at? There's just like so much going on! Okay, alright. Um, let's see. Uh, alright, so it's night time, um, I think what we're gonna do is, uh, let us pick, uh, Puma, how about you come with me? Um, actually, no, Jiggy, Jiggy, you, you can be my companion for right now, let's just go and see what everyone's up to, and try to think of just something, there's just, okay, we got Lawrence who's plied, we got Garth who's just, in, 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 exactly, my thoughts, Jiggy, I just don't know. Anyway, let's just, let's just sleep on it for today, ugh. I really just, oh God, I really just, oh, all right, so come on, Jiggy, let's go see what everyone else is up to in the village, and, um, let's see, so, some of the things that I've been thinking about doing, um, aside from just, uh, you know, helping my friends and helping everyone in the village, just, oh, this is getting so stressful, especially with Zane around, so a few things that I've been thinking about doing are upgrading my house, and um, I'm not sure, I mean, I really want to upgrade my house, but I've been so busy focusing on all the villagers here, you know, just kind of trying to make sure that they're okay, and you know, all, all that cool stuff, so, um, yeah. <sighs> Alright, so let's just get, let's just keep going. Um, ooh, it looks like things got cleaned up here. Um, so, yeah, we can go ask Koai-chan to see if she's, um, doing, um, uh, Zane's guard? This house has been c commandeered for the High Priest Zane, as well as some materials from the plaza. I hope you don't mind. Of course you don't. Okay, well, actually, I do. Okay, wait, what's going on in here? And why can't I see anything? Did they black out what's going on in there? There's an iron door there! This is actually the place I was planning to put Kiki's farm. I hope you're not planning on staying here. Ugh. I... I can't, I can't, no, I cannot mess with Zane. I'm not going to until we know what's going to happen with Gareth. I'm not going to risk uh, losing Gareth um, because I decided to break in with my pickaxe because I could totally do that. Um, Alright, so let's just go make sure little Alexis is okay. I want to make sure she's fine. I want to make sure that she's um, Molly? Where, where's Alexis? Dale is trying to get Alexis to play chess. He doesn't do well with babies at all, but at least he's trying. Haha. <laughs> oh wait, so Dale's with her? Oh, okay, I can rest a little bit easier now. Uh, da oh, oh! <laughs> What's a she's nomming chess she's nomming chess pieces. Goo. Oh <laughs> Okay. 
Do I? I think my baby is broken. She keeps eating the chess pieces. Hmm, do they taste delicious? Okay. <laughs> this kind of cheered me up. This little scene here. Okay, so I'm just gonna, for now, just put Gareth and Lawrence aside and try to just focus on the people of the village and make sure that they're all doing fine and that everyone is, you know, in high spirits. And I'm not gonna try to lead anyone on. Oh, there's Brian. What's he doing? I'm not gonna try to lead anyone on to let them know that Zane's dangerous. I think that would be a dumb idea, especially because if I do then it's just going to cause panic. And there's no need for that right now, unless something terrible is going to happen. But, I mean, nothing terrible is going to happen that I know of. Uh, Brian, let's talk to you. Oh, wait. Oh, all is well in Phoenix Drop, Lady F. Malgarth has had me on high patrol today, so there's no time to stop and chat. My apologies. Ooh, okay. All right. Um, Good, good, good. So, um, that's good. Garth has, uh, Brian on patrol, and, uh, we can go check and see what's going on in everyone else's house. But, yeah, so, um... The next things that I'm going to do in the coming uh, days are I'm going to uh, make Kiki's... Uh, I don't even know if I can. So I think I'm going to make Kiki's um, farm because she needs a farm. There are so many animals that need to be um, like sheltered and stuff. It's, it's not even funny. So I'm going to make Kiki's farm. I don't know if it's going to be there. But um, it'll probably be somewhere where there's like a lot of land and stuff. Because the elephants are behind the guard station. And, um, yeah, so I need to get to work on that. My house needs an update, so right after I do Kiki's farm, I'm gonna do my house so my house will look nice and I'll have more rooms for Levin. And I think I'm gonna make a room for Zoe because it's kind of official she's living with me since she's taking care of Levin while I go out and do, like, the stuff during the day. At night, I take care of Levin, so it's good that, um, you know, during the nights, I take care of Levin. So it's good that we have, like, this alternating thing so I can just kind of go around and make sure everyone's okay. Um, let's see, so, uh, wait a minute. What's going on over there? Who's, what's, what's going on here in Emmeline's little bookstore thing? Uh, Emmeline. Ooh, I, I've been reading this book on how to be kawaii or cute. Do you think I'm doing it right? Blue is my favorite color, so maybe Brendan likes kawaii things. I feel for you so much just because you're trying so hard. Okay. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> That's like the third time I've like the third time I've seen this thing. I, you, you shouldn't ch just just a heads up. You shouldn't change yourself for for Brendan. You should be you. But you have to discover that on your own. And Cadenza, ooh, uh, my father sent me more of my belongings from a telly. Ugh, I have so much unpacking to do. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. Holy cow! All right, so uh, uh, let's see. Cadenza's okay. I really need to, like. I wonder, Garth said that he was gonna get me more guards, so I really just need to- Whoa, baby! Oh, so, so cute! Emma, are you okay? Yeah, she's fine. Oh, ah, such a lovely day. Hmm, hey, Afmo, have you thought about adding a hot spring to the village? Molly and I were talking about that yesterday. It would be so amazing. Actually, that would be amazing. I might think about that next, but I gotta work on farmhouses and, uh, you are here. He is not exactly, hmm, not exactly sure how I want to decorate down here. Okay, cool. So- um, everyone seems to be fine. Let's just check on, uh, you know, uh, Little Levin, uh, Kawaii-chan, and, um, uh, Zoe, Brendan, those are the last that we have to do. Oh, Kiki! Yeah, we gotta find Kiki, too. Brendan. Hey. Kawaii-chan sent me back here to get cakes yesterday, and when I got back to the docks, she was done cleaning up. Completely. I need to be faster. I need to impress her. Gah, my back. Oh, yeah, I hurt my back when I tripped down the docks. <laughs> ah, the things love will make you do. <laughs> Brendan, I don't even know about you. I, I seriously don't. I like how you like Kawaii-chan, but Emma's over there, like, just... Okay, wait, it's, it's not my business, not my business. I ain't gonna get into that. It's always here, good. Oh, I asked Kawaii-chan about healing powers for Lawrence. She said she doesn't have the capability to heal at that capacity. I don't know what to do. Oh, Levin! Hi, my... Oh, he's spoken! He's speaking! Oh, did you kill your little heart? I love that heart. I will never get tired of that heart when it's from little Levin. Aw, you, you, you need to grow up faster. Because you, I want to, I want to see you walk in and like find monsters and doing all that kind of crazy stuff. And ooh, Kawaii-chan looks so kawaii today. She's in the dress that uh, Cadenza made her. What was the occasion? Oh, Afmao Senpai, you look pale. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, actually, I was confessed to, but that's aside from the point. Uh, and I don't need to tell her about Zane. <laughs> Uh, I'm perfectly fine. I just had too much cake. Yeah, let's do that. Oh no, that's the best kind of tummy ache to have. You should get some rest. By the way, little Levin sure has grown. Kawaii-chan is going to ask Cadenza if she'll make some outfits for Levin. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, by the way, Afmao-senpai, Brendan and Kawaii-chan finished up 
clearing the docks when we passed by your house. Kawai-chan was thinking, do you think Kawai-chan could help you with fixing your house? Yeah, actually. Uh, sure, yeah. Great. Kawai-chan is hoping to have enough magic stored up in order to summon at least a few maids. Um, Kawai-chan really wants to help you out because you have been taking care of everyone in the village and it seems like you forget about yourself, which isn't a bad thing, senpai. It's just Kawai-chan wants to make sure you're okay, too. That's the sweetest thing ever. Hey, don't mention it. Kawai-chan is just happy to help. Now, what's your favorite color? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> Look at everywhere. It's like purple. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got it. Prepare to have your house Kawai-chan if I tee <gasps> Aw, you're so sweet, Kawai-chan. I swear, you're like, you're like a cake. You're like super sugar. Seriously, you're like the sweetest thing ever. Okay, all right. So Kawai, <laughs> and I was just talking about that too. That's actually really awesome. So if she can help me with my house, I can focus on Kiki's farm, and I might be able to make that hot tub that Molly requested. So that would be great, right, Jiggy? Yeah, we need to get you some food. I actually, what I need to do as well, um... So I'm going to have to really just kind of sit down and make like a list of things that I need to work on. So I think, see, I feel like the farms are outdated and like we could do better. I, we need like a grocery store. There's so many different things we need since Logan's off with um, Donna on their, uh, kick it. That's right. I almost forgot about you. Oh, bird. Chirp, chirp. Squeak. Bzz, bzz. Oh, they're all making little noises. Kiki, what's going on? Do you feel it, Afmo? Something in nature is balanced. I can't explain it. Something has changed. It feels like the forces in nature are moving again. I didn't know you were so keen with nature, Kiki. You're talking to a girl who was raised partially by wolves. I know more about nature than I might lead on. Things right now just feel right. Hmm. I wonder if I should visit the werewolf tribe in Brightport just to make sure they're feeling this too. Huh. Well, that would make sense, actually. If she... Because she felt yesterday the whole thing with Lawrence and Un Ungerth, who, sad to say, is... Anyway, yeah, so maybe she... She's uh, there's something about Kiki, I swear. There's something about her, aside from being super sweet, too. Um, And I'm assuming that this was taken by Zane and his guards. Yep, I am pretty sure that was the case. And it did... What? Is... Was it... Okay, wait, so... This is... This is Logan's stand. Is, was this taken, too? Oh my god. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna ignore it. Um, what is that? What's this? It's a, it's a book. Dear Donna, this is your mother. Please come pay me a visit at Cat Island when you get back from your honeymoon. I've heard rumors around your village that concern me, and I'm afraid you might have married the wrong man. Of course, you'll listen to me. I'm your mother who raised you. Hope you have... Hope you... Come visit. Sincerely, your mom and little brother Mittens. Oh my... I hope nobody told her about Logan being a werewolf because... I mean, I know, like, last time she was... I, so, she's gone. Good. Good. I'm glad she's gone. Maybe that that's what's going in balance, Kiki, is the fact that she's gone, right? I mean, I, I hate to be the person that's happy when somebody leaves, but I'm... I mean... She she doesn't like dogs. I mean, come on. She doesn't like dogs, and that's, like, a big thing. Like, I love dogs. Dogs are awesome. You know, if you love dogs, dogs are awesome. Um, he's a little, doing a little butt dance. Anyway, so, yeah, she's gone, and I actually will be happy when Zane is gone, and hopefully, like, I don't want Gara to go. I just really don't, because if he does go, then, like, I mean, Brian could take over. Maybe Dale. I don't trust Dale. Dale just, Dale just drinks too much root beer, so I'm not gonna... You know, I, I I trust Brian more than Dale. This house isn't even occupied. He could have just come to this house. Why did he pick that one? Ugh. Anyway, um, and our materials missing from here too? Oh my, jeez. Oh, All right, so there's a wait. Is that, why are materials missing from the village? All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go back to Lawrence. I'm gonna make sure he's doing fine. I don't know how to even address what he just told me, but we're gonna get to that. I also have to make a list of things to do, but the first thing on my list since Kawaii Chan's working on my house is going to be to get Kiki her farm and um, just expand the village in general. So yeah, I'm gonna be working on that. And uh, let's see, I have all this other stuff. So yeah, Jiggy, I think, yeah, I think we should be good. All right, let's go back home. And anyway, yeah, Levin should be coming back home in a little bit. I'm not gonna get too close to you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Minecraft Diaries. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. And until then, take care and 
it's, I just can't even think about, I, I don't even know if I want to go downstairs right now. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>